Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn Then Code. In the previous video, we learned how to create and get started with EC2 instances. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to launch an EC2 instance using launch template. This is another way of creating an EC2 instance and a very easy way out. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in the AWS management console and I am in the Mumbai region, as you can see here on the easy to dashboard, we can see all the resources uh, overview and a brief summary of what all resources is currently running. So I wanted to show you how to create an easy to instance using launch template. So in the left panel, you can go to launch template. This is a very easy uh, way of creating and getting started with EC2 instances. You can automate your instance launches using launch templates and simply uh, providing the permission and policies and enforce best practices across your organizations. For example, if you want to launch an EC2 instance, you can simply mention which launch template you want to use in the AWS console or CLI or your SDKs and it will launch these two instances based on the configuration that you have provided in the launch template. Let me show you how we can do that. Click on the create launch template and here you can see the launch template details which you can provide and configure uh, for your EC2 instances. I'm going to put the launch template name as first launch template, then the description, then template tags. I'm going to add name tag here. As I mentioned in the previous video, name tags are uh, important, which you can, which will be visible on the UI. Then uh, this is the application OS image, which you can use to include in this launch template. I want my easy to instances to use Amazon Linux uh, image, which is eligible for free tier. Then we have the instance type. Either you can choose don't include in launch template, which means you can uh, select it later or you can include it and configure it in the launch template so that your instances will directly uh, launch using this instance type. I'm going to choose T2 micro. Then we have the key pair, which you would want to use when you log in into the EC2 instance. So I'm going to create a new key pair for demo purpose, Mumbai key pair and uh, create a key pair. We have the network settings that you can again configure in this launch template. So subnet, I'm going to choose this and uh, security groups which is the virtual firewall around your EC2 instance. Either you can create a new security group or select an existing one. I'm going to create a new one. Then VPC is already selected as default or you can choose it if you have already a VPC in place. Then we have the security group rules that you can add. I'm going to add SSH. Um, for now, I'm going to add anywhere, but this is not at all a best practice. So please make sure that you are adding specific IP ranges which should be allowed in the security group rules. Next is the EBS volume. Then we have uh, other advanced details, which I'm not going to go into deep. We'll see it later in the next videos. As you can see, this is a summary of our launch template of the AMI version, the type of instance, firewall security group and storage. You can simply create launch template option here and uh, it has been created. You can view it. So this is the launch template that we have created. Now, if I want to create an EC2 instance using this launch template, then I can simply go to actions, launch instance from the template. Then I can mention how many number of instances I want to create. I can put any number for now. I'm just going to keep it as one. Then you can mention the source template here, first launch template. Here you can see the uh, template ID also, then the template version. So if I edit or uh, create any other versions of this template, then I can choose from the drop down which version I want to use. Then OS image, we have already selected an image, but while creating that launch template, you can have the option to not select any AMI image and you can uh, select it here or you can edit it from this browse image and select any other image which you would like to use. For now, we have this image and we'll be using it. Next is the instance type. We have already selected in the launch template that T2 micro is what we want to use. You can select any other type according to your preference. Then the key pair that we created, then uh, we have the subnet. You can either select a default value or you can select a, a subnet. Then we have the security group. We have already uh, created that security group during the launch template creation. Then 
pressed, I'm going to keep it as default. So this is a summary of our EC2 instance that will get created. As we can see that our instance has been launched. So now we can just click on the instance ID and it will land to this page, EC2 instance page. And uh, we can see that it is currently in the pending state. In few seconds, it will come up running. So now we can see that our instance state is running. We can simply connect, click on connect and go to the SSH client. We can use this command to SSH into the EC2 instance. Let me quickly show you how to SSH into the EC2 instance. First, we all need to make sure that our key pair is not publicly accessible. So make sure to configure the uh, permissions using ch mode command. Then we can simply SSH into the EC2 instance. This is our key pair and this is the uh, DNS of our instance. Say yes. And then here we are inside our EC2 instance. Last but not the least, I wanted to talk to you about Newton School Full Stack Developer Course, which is a great resource if you want to have a better package in IT industry. Newton School provides and guarantees to have placement offers of more than 5 LPA from top-notch companies like Google, Nike, Zomato, etc. without asking for any upfront fees, which is great. So do check out their Full Stack Developer Course. I will provide the link in the description below. So that was all for this video. I hope you liked it and you found it helpful. In the next videos, I'm going to cover more concepts of EC2 instances. So till then, keep learning.